In this video, we will calculate the kinematic viscosity in SI units. So we are given viscosity as 17.5 pound mass per feet times hour. And we're given density as 33.9 pound mass per feet cubed. And so we want to calculate this answer in SI units. So we want meters squared per second. And so let's try this. So the formula for kinematic viscosity is equal to our viscosity represented by the symbol here divided by density represented by this symbol here so we're given viscosity as 17.5 uh, pound divided by feet times hour divided by our density which was 33.9 uh, pound mass divided by feet cubed. And so if we just look at the number 17.5 divided by 33.9, we would get 0 0.516. And now we'll focus on the unit. So we have pound mass divided by feet times hour divided by pound mass divided by feet cubed. So this is equal to pound mass divided by feet times hour. And then we flip these two. So we say feet cubed divided by pound mass and this will give us our units so pound mass cancels uh, we have feet in the bottom and then feet cubed on top so that would be feet squared divided by hour so that's the units so we want to find the kinematic viscosity in SI units which is going to be meters squared divided by second so we need to convert this to meters squared divided by seconds so we have 0 0.516 feet squared per hour, and we want to convert this to meters squared per second. So we know that 1 feet squared is equal to 12 inches squared. So essentially, 1 feet is 12 inches, so 1 feet squared is 144 inches. Times, we want to get centimeters, from centimeters to meters. So one inch squared is equal to 2.54 centimeter squared times, we know 100 centimeter uh, squared is equal to one meter squared. Now, now we have it in meters squared, so we need to convert hours into seconds. So one hour is 60 minutes, and we know that one minute is 60 seconds. And so now let's check our units. Feet cubed cancels, we have inches squared. Inches squares cancel, we have centimeters squared. Centimeters squared cancel, we have meters squared. Hour cancel, we have minutes. Minute cancel, we have seconds. So we have meters squared divided by seconds. So that's correct units. So this is equal to 1.3 3 times 10 raised to negative 5 meters squared divided by seconds. So this is the answer. However, with the SI units, uh, we also have an auxiliary units, which is allowed. So it could also be or 0 0.133 uh, stokes. So one stoke is equal to 10 raised to negative 4 meters squared divided by seconds. Both the answers are correct, and that's all we need to do for this problem.